Emerging from a container filled with a dark, viscous liquid, Ashley is extracted, cleaned, and clothed. She awakens in a bedroom to find Spencer observing her. Despite having no recollection of her identity or location, Spencer offers her wine and requests the house's AI to play their song, hoping it might trigger her memory. However, Ashley insists she has no recollection. Frustrated by the lack of progress, Spencer assaults her, leading to her demise. He disposes of her body in an outdoor tank. Upon Victoria's arrival, she seems unsurprised by the incident and hands Spencer a notebook to record his thoughts. Spencer assures her he will document it later, expressing that the deceased didn't feel like the real Ashley. Victoria retreats to her home lab, pondering the shortcomings of her experiment. As she works, Spencer slips a notebook under the door. Victoria receives a call from Parker, Spencer's father, and they converse in a virtual reality setting. Parker inquires about Spencer, and Victoria explains her efforts. Though she admits Spencer's lack of cooperation. Parker suggests professional help for Spencer, but Victoria rejects the idea, fearing they might take her son away. Parker notes the journal's insufficiency and suggests Victoria observe Spencer during his violent acts. Victoria, not wanting to influence the results, decides to install a surveillance camera in Spencer's room. It is revealed that Victoria is a geneticist, repeatedly creating clones of Ashley for Spencer to eliminate. A new Ashley clone is prepared and placed in Spencer's room after being cleaned, dressed, and made up. Spencer notices the camera as he waits for her to awaken and is visibly irritated. When Ashley awakens, Spencer immediately questions her identity, but she claims ignorance. Growing increasingly frustrated, he asks if she remembers him. Her denial triggers Spencer's anger, leading him to violently demand recognition as he plays the same song. Fearful, Ashley attempts to escape, but Spencer assaults her once again, leading to her demise while a tearful Victoria watches. After the act, Spencer angrily destroys the camera. A flashback reveals Spencer encountering the real Ashley abandoned in the middle of nowhere over a month ago. Intrigued by the stranger, Spencer approached her while receiving a text from his mother, informing him she would be late for work. Spencer offered Ashley shelter at his house, given the nearest town was a six-hour walk away. Ashley accepted and borrowed Spencer's jacket for warmth. In the present, Spencer tells Victoria the experiment isn't working because the clones don't feel real. Victoria requested more time, noting it was only her fourth attempt. Later, Victoria calls Parker, blaming him for making her witness Spencer. Spencer's act. However, Parker explains it was necessary for her to understand Spencer's needs and prevent future harm. During their conversation, Victoria receives a call from an employee of her company, which she ignores. Victoria decides to spend more time with the Ashley clone to make her seem more human. The next day, Victoria prepares a new clone, but doesn't introduce her to Spencer immediately. She asks Spencer to give Ashley time to adjust to life and become more real. Spencer agrees and continues his artwork, which he sometimes perceives as moving. Later, Spencer leaves his room and finds Ashley conversing with Victoria in the guest room. Upon seeing him, Victoria quickly shuts the door. Spencer then goes outside to observe ants and sketch them on a portrait he made of Ashley, believing this drawing is also moving. He then goes for a walk and encounters a woman he hasn't seen before at a neighboring house. Her name is Marissa, and she explains she is house-sitting while her parents are in Europe. Spencer assists her with moving boxes and quickly befriends her. Upon returning home, Spencer sketches a portrait of Marissa that appears to blink at him. Later, Victoria is surprised when Marissa arrives at the door, bringing cookies to thank Spencer for his help. Victoria feigns politeness, and once once Marissa leaves, scolds Spencer for interacting with strangers, knowing it's risky. Later, Victoria chats with Parker, informing him about Marissa and Spencer's new focus on drawing her. She also tells him about the latest clone, which is becoming more like the real Ashley thanks to Victoria's social media research. The next day, Spencer returns the plate to Marissa and gives her the portrait he made of her, which Marissa finds incredibly impressive. She asks him to design a tattoo for her and shows him the back of her neck as her chosen tattoo spot, which unsettles Spencer until she tells him she likes him. When Spencer returns home, Victoria demands to know know where he's been and becomes furious when she learns he visited Marissa, reminding him not to see her again. Spencer protests, so Victoria distracts him by promising he can meet the latest Ashley the next day. Another flashback shows how Spencer brought the real Ashley home and she went to the bathroom, where she secretly consumed some happy powder. Then Spencer shared wine with her while she requested the house to play her favorite song. Hearing that Victoria would come home late, Ashley asked Spencer to go to his room. Back in the present, Victoria explains to Ashley that Spencer is shy, so she must get him to open up by discussing his interests in nature and art. Then she takes her to Spencer's room, pretending to leave them alone when she's actually outside the doors waiting. Spencer plays Ashley's favorite song and shares some wine with her. Ashley admires Spencer's drawings and compliments his talent, but she becomes increasingly nervous when she sees portraits of herself that become progressively more unsettling. Noticing her reaction, Spencer puts the sketchbook away and asks Ashley to dance with him. As they dance, Ashley begins asking questions, and Spencer realizes she doesn't remember him either. He immediately begins choking her, and Victoria has to listen to her son eliminating another clone. After he disposes of the body in the tank, Spencer explains to Victoria that everything feels artificial to him, as if there was an invisible barrier between him and the real world that suffocated him. However, for a brief moment with the latest clone, he felt like he could breathe again, like it happened with the real Ashley, so he thanked his mother with a hug. Later, Victoria shared
shares this progress with Parker and decides to continue with the experiment, hoping these positive effects will eventually help Spencer return to the real world and lead a normal life. The next day, Spencer is looking at the tank, contemplating the latest clone when Marissa visits him and they chat for a while. Marissa shared she used to go to therapy for an eating disorder and stopped going when she got better. In response, Spencer reveals he also attended therapy sessions, but doesn't disclose why he stopped or the reason for his therapy. He spots a strand of Ashley's hair on the ground, a remnant from when he dragged her body, and quickly conceals it under his shoe. Marissa invites him to an art exhibit. A flashback reveals the night of the incident. He real Ashley admired Spencer's art and showed him her tattoo. She invited Spencer to dance with her, teasing him in ways he had never experienced before. When he attempted to grope her, Ashley pulled away, asking him to slow down. This triggered Spencer, leading him to attack her. Ashley tried to escape, but Spencer caught her and pushed her to the floor. Ashley fought back, scratching the floor. Spencer then choked her and caused her death by banging her head, establishing his modus operandi. In the present, Victoria completes another Ashley clone and asks Spencer for patience as she works on making this clone more human-like. Ashley is placed in a guest room, and upon waking, Victoria tells her she's been in an accident and needs to stay with them until she recovers some memories to find her home. They go outside, and Victoria shows Ashley a video of a young Spencer playing with a dog. Spencer used to have two dogs, both of whom sadly passed away. Victoria shows Ashley the graves as she talks about the inevitability of death. Ashley comforts her with a hug, which Spencer observes from his window. Another flashback begins. On the night of the incident, Victoria arrived home to find Ashley's body. She slapped Spencer, indicating she thought he had improved, implying he was the one who killed the dogs. Spencer assured her that no one knew Ashley was with them, so Victoria agreed to dispose of the body in the lab. On the day of the art exhibit, Spencer admits to Marissa that this is his first time seeing art in person. He reveals he only went to school until the sixth grade and was homeschooled after a tragic incident. Spencer was playing King of the Mountain on the jungle gym with other kids and wanted to be king so badly that he pushed a girl who appeared behind him, causing her to fall to her death. Since then, Veronica has kept him away from people, which Marissa thinks is unfair because he was just a kid, not a murderer. Then Marissa surprises him. The portrait he gifted her is being displayed in the exhibit. At first, Spencer is angry because she did it without his permission and he feels exposed, but he calms down when Marissa explains she did it because she's proud of him. Meanwhile, Victoria realizes Spencer isn't in the house and he left his phone behind. In the evening, Marissa brings Spencer home and sees Ashley at the window before leaving. As soon as Spencer goes inside, an angry Victoria yells at him again, saying she's the only one who can take care of him and he shouldn't look for others. Spencer explains Marissa makes him feel different, which is overheard by Ashley. Confused, Ashley returns to the guest room as memories of being dragged on the floor and choked start filling her dreams. In the morning, she wakes up from this nightmare and goes outside to clear her mind. When Victoria approaches her, Ashley tells her about the dreams and asks why Spencer is kept away from her. So Victoria insists he's just shy and swears he was the one who found her. Afterward, Victoria shares this with Parker, worried about what Ashley may know, but at the same time excited over the possible discovery of DNA carrying memories. Sometime later, Ashley sneaks into Spencer's room and moves the carpet to find nail marks on the floor, just like in her dream. Then she checks Spencer's drawings, getting disturbed when she sees her face. Ashley takes the sketchbook back to her room, but before she can keep looking, Victoria knocks on her door, so Ashley has to hide the sketchbook under a pillow. A few hours later, Spencer informs Victoria that he doesn't want to do this anymore. Instead, he wants to have a normal life and friends. Victoria protests against the idea, saying he's been violent since he was a kid and he won't change anytime soon. The next day, Marissa sneaks around the house and finds Victoria and Ashley in the garden, so she takes a quick picture of them. Her phone makes a noise that Victoria hears, but when she comes to check, Marissa is already gone. Later, Victoria is called by her employee again, scolding her for having missed work for so long. The board members are getting angry, so Victoria has no choice but to go to a meeting to calm the waters. While Spencer notices his sketchbook is missing, Victoria tells him she's leaving, and she's locking Ashley in her room for her safety. Meanwhile, Marissa is searching for Ashley on the internet and is shocked to see she's a wanted criminal. She texts this information to Spencer, but since his phone is connected to his mom's, Victoria gets a copy too. She becomes extremely worried and decides to return home, ignoring her employees' protests. Moments later, Ashley finally gets to look through the sketchbook and sees how her portraits get more disturbing every page, so she throws it away. Meanwhile, Marissa sneaks into the house because Spencer hasn't answered her text, and she's worried about what Ashley may do to him. Spencer proceeds to corner her in the kitchen and comments he had planned to change for her before he starts choking her. Marissa grabs a wine bottle and smashes it on his head. Then she tries to escape while she asks the house to dial 911. All her screaming and struggling ends up on the phone. At the same time, Ashley finds a hammer in her closet and uses it to break the lock to escape. In the kitchen, Spencer holds Marissa down and grabs a glass shard to stab her, which is seen by Ashley appearing in the corridor. At that moment, a car can be seen outside, so Ashley rushes to hide in the lab. There, she finds all the things Victoria has been using for her experiments, and Ashley has a breakdown when she sees a recording of the clones coming out of the vat. She also finds the wanted posters, realizing the real Ashley is a criminal. In the meantime, Victoria comes inside and finds Marissa's body, so she slaps and yells at Spencer. She also discovers that Marissa called 911, so she tells Spencer to get Ashley and get rid of the bodies. Soon, Spencer notices Ashley is gone, and Victoria panics 
refusing to let him take all the blame. While Spencer takes Marissa's body to the tank, Victoria enters the lab, and Ashley immediately threatens her with the hammer, demanding an explanation. Victoria points out Spencer saved her from a life of crime, but Ashley doesn't buy it because she remembers him killing her. She tries to attack Victoria, only to end up smashing the computer instead. When Spencer hears the noise, he rushes inside to help his mother. Ashley manages to hit Victoria with the hammer before Spencer jumps on her, so Ashley hits him on his delicate area and runs away. Outside, Ashley hides behind a car and waits for Spencer to come out, surprising him from behind to punch him. Anger takes over her as she continues to throw hits, making Spencer fall and banging his head on the ground until he dies like all his victims. At that moment, the cops arrive and seeing this, they immediately arrest Ashley. Later, Victoria sees Spencer dead and cries her heart out. However, instead of giving up, she says goodbye to Parker and destroys the virtual reality device. Then she proceeds to clone her son.